Hey you guys, welcome to Chit Chat with Kit Kat. Today we're gonna to be talking about something that's very important and relevant to our current situation, and that is proper hand washing. Yes, hand hygiene is very important, and it's something that has been overlooked for so long um, by many people. And we all know that um, not properly hand washing causes us to get sick. Germs are everywhere. Okay, germs can enter through your eyes, your nose, and your mouth. And that's something we touch all day, we eat, we rub our eyes, we blow our nose, we pick stuff out of our teeth. So we're always constantly um, touching those places where germs can enter and make us sick. Um, so the number one way to prevent infection is proper hand washing. And so that's what we're gonna talk about today. I wanna show you um, the reasons why you should properly hand wash um and what happens when you don't and then i want you to um, talk about the different types of hand washers that we have and then at the end i'll show you how to properly hand wash the way that they taught us back um, in nursing school stay tuned okay so you definitely want to wash your hands after you use the bathroom why because feces slash poop contains salmonella and e coli and who wants a little e coli on their burger or a little e coli on their fries or in their eyes, nobody. So you definitely want to wash your hands. Every time you use the bathroom, whether it's number one or number two, you definitely want to wash your hands anytime you change a diaper, because that is poop, even though it's a baby and it does have nasty stuff in it that we don't want to um, spread, okay? Anytime you touch our raw meat, you definitely want to wash your hands. Um, definitely wash your hands anytime before you eat. Obvious reasons, same as washing them after you use the bathroom. You don't want to put anything into your mouth or into your body from anybody else or from the outside world that can make you sick. And E. coli and salmonella can cause diarrhea. And who wants that? Have you ever eaten at a restaurant and you thought the food was so good, did it make you go to the bathroom? It's not the food that was bad. It could have been. And or the people that prepared it may not have washed their hands or it could have been you eating the food with your dirty hands and introducing that stuff into your mouth, into your gut, and now you gotta do number two and it's running all over the place. All right, so you definitely want to wash your hands before you cook and after touching any contaminated surface. And now anytime you come into your home, you definitely wanna wash your hands because it's COVID out there, there's all kinds of germs. So wash your hands when you come back into your home, wash them frequently. Also remember to wash your hands after you cough, sneeze, or blow your nose to prevent um, the spread of respiratory illnesses, okay? Definitely wash them if they're visibly soiled. If you got mud on your hands, dirt on your fingernails, whatever, you definitely need to wash your hands. All right, so now we're gonna talk about the different types of hand washers that I have seen in my life, especially, you know, in the bathroom, public restrooms, I've seen all type of hand washers. All right, so number one, you got the water rinse only hand washer. And those are the ones who just come in, turn on the sink and use nothing but water like this. What was that? What was that? That was nothing but water and it didn't do anything, okay? You have the second hand washer is the quick and effective hand washer. They actually use a dab of soap And they wash, but it's so quick. The soap is still on there. The germs are still on there. The dirt is still on there. It was just for show. You really didn't do anything. It was not good enough, okay? Number three, you got your cross-contamination hand wash. And that's when you use soap, you get your water and you scrub. You wash your hands really good. You do the 20 seconds that you're supposed to. You're cleaning them real good. You rinse and then you go and you touch the handle that you turn the water on with. So you recontaminate your hands when you do that, right? Dry your hands off. Then you go and you touch the door to get out of the bathroom. You recontaminate your hands and your hand washing was for no reason, okay? Because your hands are back dirty, okay? 
So don't be one of those hand washers. We wanna be number four, the thorough non-contamination hand washing person. Okay. All right, so the way they told us back in nursing school was first to get a paper towel to turn on the water. That way you don't put the extra germs on your hands, right? Throw that away. Then you get the soap, you wet your hands first. Then you get soap. And you wash your hands by going in circular motion, okay? You wanna make sure to get the backs of your hands. You wanna make sure to get in between your fingers. I scratch my nails against the opposite palm to clean underneath my nails. Don't forget about your thumb. They even tell us to get our wrists because of course we wear gloves and you know, you also wanna wash your wrist. And you want to do this for 20 seconds. And they said you can um, sing happy birthday or you can sing your ABCs. I usually do my ABCs. Or you can just count to 20, but you wanna do this for 20 seconds. Circular motion, backs of the hands, in between your fingers, your nail to palm, um, palm and your wrist. And then you wanna rinse with your hands downward so that the water and soap do not run back up your arm, but it goes down into the sink. Oh, and dry your hands off. Okay. You throw that one away, and then you get a clean, dry paper towel to turn the handle off. That way, your clean hands never touch the dirty handle. You can also use that same paper towel to then open the doorknob to get out of the bathroom, or if you're on, in your own home, just throw it away. That is the best way to properly hand wash. I hope everyone stays safe and remember to use this all the time. Do not ever get lazy. Also keep a little thing of lotion by my um, faucet because your hands will dry out from washing a lot. And you just moisturize your hands after you hand wash. Stay safe, stay healthy. Let's get through this together. See you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye. Clean hands.